spending will drop about 2%, impacting things like welfare programs to the military. One place you might notice the cuts are at your national park. Omar Lewis traveled out to the President Lyndon Johnson National Historic Park to see what park goers think about the possible changes. It's the peace, tranquility, and the history that draws people from across the world here to the LBJ National Park in Johnson City. We're just amazed at how restful the place is. And this group from Connecticut is driving across the country, stopping at national parks like this one along the way. Each park a unique experience. With this one in particular, you're always learning something new about the history of an era, by the way, in which we grew up. But those experiences at national parks could change. The National Park Service is preparing for cuts that could impact all 398 parks during their busiest season. The plan is to save money by cutting back, shortening park hours, and putting hiring freezes in place. While each park will be affected differently, the message from visitors is the same. I mean, to lose that is, is losing so much of who we are as I think as, a, as Americans. And local stores like these are also concerned that budget cuts could reflect poorly on their business and that's because they make most of their money from tourists stopping through town. It's a sad reality that will be anything but a walk in the park to fix. This is our heritage, this is our legacy and it should be open and available not just for Americans to come visit but you know mm -hmm. people from other countries as well. Omar Lewis, KXAN News.